Okay, here I am in my Google Photo. I'm doing this on the web version. I'm on a Chromebook right now. You could do the same thing on a PC. And this is where it's really handy to share. Let's say you've been uploading photos to Google Photos and I just access that through photos.google.com. If I wanna make this into a bookmark, I may wanna do that. So I'm just gonna drag this to my bookmark bar in my Google Apps for Education folder. There you go. Now it's there every time I click on that. It'll take me right to this page. So as you can see, I have a collection of photos here of different things I've taken pictures of and uploaded uh, just for example purposes. And so what I can do now is I do have collections, which are albums, same thing. And when I click on those, I have different items that I could share out. So if I choose the collections button or the albums button, I can select that album. I can see all those. And if I want to share it out, I can share that out using the share button and I can push that out to social media. Or if I wanna get a shareable link to post on my blog, I can click on that shareable link button, copy it. And now, when I send this to someone, and I post it maybe in an email newsletter on Remind or on my teacher website or on my blog, whatever, I can post that and people can access that and this is what it looks like to those individuals. They can't see your whole album. They only see these photos that you sent to them. Okay, so let's say you're not worried about creating albums. You could just upload photos as you wish or videos or whatever, and you can actually select individual ones. So I'm gonna check mark some of these, just random ones at this point right now. And it doesn't even have to be together. It doesn't have to be on the same day. And let's say I just want to share those individual ones. Once I select those, then I have the option of sharing those photos out the same exact way. So I don't even have to make collections unless I really, really want to. Collections or albums will help you stay organized, but this would allow you to quickly share whatever you want. So when I hit the get shareable link, I have a new link. I'm going to right click on it and copy it and I'm gonna to go to my other tab so that way you can see what it'll look like for people that are visiting. So it just shows who I am and it shows those individual ones that I just chose and shared together. And as you can see, this one even has a video in it. So if I click on the video, I'll actually play a video from here. And there you have it. All right, we're gonna. Okay, so that's a little bit about the Google Photos parents will probably appreciate the fact that you can easily organize your pictures and videos and share them out as events out to them. Uh, they love to see pictures. They love to see what's going on in the classroom. It makes them feel like they are a part of the classroom. And lastly, what's great about it is that they actually have the option of downloading those photos and videos. If they would like, they can hit the download button or they can just click on individual ones, the ones that they want and hit the download button here and it'll save it on their own device. Thanks for watching.